Spaghetti Junction Revival. I don't think I can do Spaghetti Junction in the tournament. The real takeaway is, if I win this tournament by the means I employ, it's going to look incredible. Challenge one is positive population. They're going to count us down at some point and then we're gonna to have to go from there. The goal is simple. Build a city with the highest amount of people possible. Send in Two, Swift a little smooch as one. well for good luck. Unpause and play. Good luck. Good luck. Okay, here we go. The tournament has officially begun. All right. Uh, brush size. Brush strength. Flatten it. It will cause a great flood for a while. That will settle. Oh, God, please let it settle. <laughs> That's not good. <laughs> Okay, the initial road connections. No, it's it's even and out. It's even and out. Okay, what I can do to build at the moment is I can turn on road anarchy. Oh god, the crime rate. Why is this so much crime? Education. More education. Supplementary education. Give them every fucking kind of education they could possibly want. People love insurance. So we just... <laughs> that is an awkward box. <laughs> uh, there's already dead people in the city. That's unfortunate. Uh, let's build a, a nice family graveyard. There you go. And a crematorium. Okay, uh, next we need airports because airports will bring a lot of people in. Uh, so we're gonna have two here. You know what? We're gonna... <laughs> we're gonna have as many as we can there. Okay, and then we're gonna add some other things that just affect happiness across the board. We want all of these kind of wonders to just increase tourism as much as we can and make everyone ludicrously happy. There's fucking NASA. Uh, that entire road has somehow flooded. Oh my, how did that happen? Let's just, uh, fix that real quick. And then we make a mountain ridge so they're not immediately killed. There we go. Uh, get some more water in. Okay, uh, there is a sewage problem that's going to start affecting us soon. Uh, what we can do is I can wall that off in advance. Sewage won't reach us now. It'll take longer. There is two minutes remaining of the child. Two minutes! Population is declining somewhat, that's fine. The wall will keep them safe! <laughs> oh, this can't be good. <laughs> okay, uh, I, I can drain it. There we go. Problem solved. I think we did pretty good. Uh, anything else I can Nine, add? Eight, uh, seven, six, at a hospital! <laughs> five, four, three, two, one. Hands off keyboards, please. Oh! 12,000! I had a tsunami that flooded my whole city and reset my population down to zero. Oh my <laughs> gosh. <laughs> Was that just like, did the game just decide to offload that on you? Yeah, it also gave me a 9.5 sinkhole. Luckily, nowhere in my city. Oh my god! I had the least grids, gritty grids ever because I couldn't draw a straight line in with the, with the pressure, with the hands shaking. No, <laughs> that's right. Yeah. Oh, here's my one on the wall. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah, see, maybe, maybe I could have done something like that. I'm not used to dealing with disasters, you see. Yeah. I guess I, what I should have done is watch more of your content in the past because I hear that's your specialty. Oh, Quill, God love you. <laughs> uh, it's just heartbreaking. Biffa, Spiff, RT, and then Quill. Oh, there we go. That's the points for this Ooh. one. Yay, three points. It was close. I'll take two. One point between us all. It's true. It's very close <laughs> right now. <laughs> the second round, then, is the seat of learning. So education is the passport to the future, for tomorrow belongs to those that prepare for it today. Build a campus from scratch within an existing city, Choose between an art campus, trade school, or an Oxbridge-style uni to provide the best future for the youth of your city. This is judged on creativity, realism, and beauty. Alright, you're gonna see some landscaping from yours truly. It's not gonna be quite like, like the big wall that keeps everything out, but it's going to be pretty. Three, two, one. Let's go. We get to decide what kind of college we want. Uh, I, I'm gonna make it liberal arts, I think. I think that's got a, a lot of nice buildings. We'll need to make some park space. We want to have like a hospital and stuff like that here too. Uh, where are the dormitories? These are the dormitory buildings. So we just want to have like a bunch of these here. There we go! That's looking pretty good so far. Uh, but we, we need way more. Okay, uh, next up is the the risky step. Pop that there. A meteor strike has okay, occurred. that's fine. We'll use that space eventually. There we go. Okay, uh, what I need to do here, a freshwater outlet. For just a mo. Trees are catching on fire. Uh, this will all settle. That'll all settle this vegetation. So don't worry too much there. We need a big final piece for this section here. Look at that. I think I've done quite well. And I've been able to incorporate a meteor in this design. Look at that. 
Listen, I don't think any of the other contestants use meteors and water pumps like we did, all right? So I think we get bonus points for that. This is Biffa's. That is a winding road. <laughs> it's very pretty looking though for his main campus design. Here's us. I really liked mine, but I'm, I'm gonna ask a pretty silly question. Was there a specific location we were meant to build the university in? I, 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 don't, I believe so. don't think so. Oh, thank God. I assume most of us went for that. There was like a mountain plot that was kind of free. Oh no, Quill did his right oh, in the heart of the right city. In the middle. That's good. Yeah, oh, I, my I was God. trying to draw inspiration from a few real life universities where like, they basically had to buy up a bunch of buildings in the city as they expand. So it's like mixed into city blocks. It doesn't yeah. look that very like you, you know, that you see this university campus. And I don't know if it's going to score very well, but I'm very happy that I was successful in my vision. Did you have some trouble with flooding there, Spiff, with those wells? <laughs> just, just a little bit of uh, trouble with flooding there at the end. <laughs> um, we built a little pond in the middle with some boats, but of course, flooded a little bit. I did also build a waterfall on the left-hand side, which was a very risky undertaking, but Ooh, nice. it actually paid off. Uh, there's an actual waterfall right there. I can't came dead last. <laughs> oh, I came second again. Oh my god. Oh no. Oh, congrats guys. I I used a meteor to construct my park, but I don't know if they factored that in. And, and I actually like drained all the water so we had a lake and everything. Oh, so, someone said on mine that your meteor scored you plus points. It was not wasted time. Nice. Really? Okay. <laughs> Good there you job. Go. Well done. That's, that's the only plus points I'm going to get. I have to keep doing more meteors. <laughs> The next challenge is going to be a tricky one, though. Uh, the next one is Biking Mayhem. So they said that four wheels move the body, but two wheels move the soul. Take a congested city and build the best bike network you can to reduce the city's traffic. This is the first round that introduces uh, the population punishment. If your population dips by 5%, your points are halved. I don't know how to actually add a bike network in this game. I'm going to be honest with you. I have no idea. How do you build bike networks? Oh, damn it. I, I googled and the first thing I see is how to make a bicycle super highway in your city. Upload it by Biffa. Okay, we're going back to the casters and the round will start shortly if everyone could be ready. Okay, thank you. RT is currently sitting in an Five, exam he didn't take the four, course for. <laughs> oh, two, God. One. Here we go. There you go. Unpause. Where do I start? Do I just start by upgrading the existing roads with bicycle lanes? Oh, that. Okay, we're gonna we're gonna change this road a little bit. Uh, just widen that out. I, I don't think I can add other roads. <laughs> Road anarchy. <laughs> they could bike along there. Oh, this this could be a really good way of doing it. Hang on, if I make it so that there's like a highway here that runs alongside the road, and then we connect it at the ends. I think I can do this. If we make like the web lasagna, like encased bit here, I think that's perfect. And then every now and then, so that you can get to the other side of the road, uh, we make it so that it cuts across. Okay, uh, those are two lane bike roads, are they? Those are one lane. Oh God, that's gonna destroy them. Oh no. Am I gonna have to upgrade all these ones too? Oh my, all my work is undone. Oh, guys, I don't think we're doing too well here. Some of these are a little steep, but that's okay. <laughs> that one's fucking vertical. You ready for the bike and highway? <laughs> you gotta get a running start on this one. Those two districts are done. It's just a shame there's like four other bits of the city I haven't got to touch yet. This is how I feel right now. Look, no one's on the mountain anyway. <laughs> That's probably a good, really good way of doing it too. If I can connect like, like across the highway, make it so that you can just cycle it. Oh, that's my meteor. That's my meteor. It's okay. I, I got had a heart attack there. It's fine. That's just me venting. It shouldn't affect the city. There's bicycle stand props. I feel, I don't think you're supposed to brush these ones down. Oh, the meteor. <laughs> There was consequences. I've been trying to fix the bikes as much as I can. I mean, I, th I think it's alleviated traffic. There's a lot of people using it. So that has to be good. I don't know if that's the case in other parts of the city. They're not even using it here. Okay, let's just make it look funny for the preview. Use my bikes. You can really appreciate the roadways. Oh no, did that flood one of the roads? No! How did this even happen? Okay, I gotta reinstate the motorway. 30 seconds remaining. Okay. That should do it. That should do it. The road's safe now. Hands off, please. <laughs> and please change scenes while we gather your scores. Oh, no. <laughs> I think I think we might be in trouble for this one. 
<laughs> the man who managed to flood parts of the city. <laughs> the mountain. I'm so disappointed. <laughs> I would start singing something, but I'm sure it's um, it's definitely DMCA'd in this case. But uh, <laughs> RT game at 829. So. Yeah, that is currently that last place for now, but we're gonna have to see for Spiffing and Biffa to find out who's gonna be the actual winner of the challenge. I surprise you not, 1,738 Tavis wow. into God his damn. city. So currently Huge. holding that first place, however, Spiff is first. might get penalized, mind you, due to the fact he, he lost part of his population. So uh, no, if he manages to get first place, that will be just two points. Uh. Biffa, who currently stands at 2,129 oh, cyclists in oh, total. Oh, God damn it. Not I probably shouldn't have floated at the end. Least. Graphic tragedy. How can it be called rush hour when nothing is moving? Use a mix of skill, creativity, and your knowledge of the game to optimize the road network of a city at a standstill. Use of public transport is allowed. Uh, highest traffic flow percent. There's a lot of debt in this city already. I think the population is just going to naturally drop. Should there be this many dead people? <laughs> I don't think there should. I'm just gonna ask them. <laughs> Their response is, debt will sort itself out once you fix the traffic. That's rather right, ominous. Three, two, one. Away you go. Remember to unpause. Here we go. All right. Here's how we fix it. Delete the main bridge. <laughs> we don't need it. The star will carry us forward. Yeah, welcome to city planet. This, this intersection bit is a mess. Delete it. I mean, I'm already relieving a lot of the traffic along this road. Look at that. I've moved it. Now the problem is the star seems to have acquired most of the traffic. <laughs> okay, turn that off. It's a free-for-all. See, they just zoom. <laughs> it's working. Okay, uh, public transport. I think we get boats this time. Space is already occupied. It can't do go over bridges. <laughs> is what I'm learning here. Oh, but if we turn on road anarchy, they can sail fine. Now we fix the bridge. There we go. <laughs> we can make it worse. Hang on. Let me just... There we go. Doesn't affect traffic flow, so it's not my problem. 67, it's dropped. Oh no, there's bottlenecks. So let's just snip a road thing. And we'll make it so... That's the new way it's accessible. <laughs> Dramatic play here. I'm gonna need to raise the land, though. <laughs> Fuck! Oh no. I can make it work. We made Spaghetti Mountain. Oh, why do they keep going under the water? <laughs> Alright, uh, I can still fix it. Stop the flood! <laughs> we fixed it. Three, two, one. Hands off keyboards, please. I think I got it. <laughs> I got 83% traffic flow. No! <laughs> oh my god. Everywhere? I set all of the speed limits to 10 kilometers an hour. Oh. So traffic was going slowly, but it was going. It was going. It was going places. Oh, it just that's wasn't crafty. reaching the junctions fast <laughs> enough. <laughs> hey, I like your city. I just made, yeah, so my, my city has to have a little bit of fire. I, I just made the most <laughs> inefficient subways, uh, but, you know, it worked because it kept people off the streets. Wait, Hassan, did you did you use land there, Biffa? Did you build a gigantic Overall, land bridge out to the industrial area? I did, yes. And then I flooded everything and regretted it so, afterwards. Wait, they're not showing mine? Far he goes up. I thought they showed yours at the start, didn't they? How many points no? Did no? Or no, gaining, so, really, no. In this challenge they must have. Has, yeah, he's being investigated currently because of his, uh, his Dang, yeah, well, chat's pretty up in arms about Oh, it's being investigated. Fixing the device well, investigation, oh. Apparently managed to, uh, to get him Got to investigate you know, RT's map. Maybe there was some cheats or exploits going on. He can't game. believe you do so that, Dan. I feel like I'm waiting to be called into the detention, like the principal's office. I'm gonna tell you here, he managed to get they a don't have the red flow. stream oh. audio, but I assume they're killing 100%. time until they can get our key city. Wait, what? Incredible. 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 He 100%. has absolutely broken the game. He solved that every issue. Did I solve it? He has done it again. RT game like has broken built the game. It is a bit of a mess. <laughs> with I don't think you like the intersection <laughs> in the middle. Web. Hang on a second, is that, is that <laughs> road anarchy? Doing things there. here with in the open sea. <laughs> <as> <laughs> seven-way intersection. If all of us do really well, we can knock Biffer off of the top 
Wolf's <laughs> yeah, yeah, Come on, guys. Oh, challenge is going to no. go in too soon. It's, it's be so close. No, but I'll tap four. We're doing well. Oh. We allowed it to run for a few minutes to see if it balanced out and took everything into account. It stayed at 100%. I won one! <laughs> That's why they were invest- So, that was a legit investigation because they think I cheated. <laughs> oh, no. I thought they were being sarcastic. <laughs> this is eSports. Oh, Spaghetti Junction pulled through, I suppose. The next round is the Parks one. The next round is Parks. This one I can do. So remember the layout. Meteor Lake, Mountain Zone, all over here. Flat Park Land, Hospital. It's kind of like the walkway intersection there. We need like kind of like a hilly kind of forest area over here then as well, I think. Let's go. Remember to unpause, please. This is my chance to shine. Meteor. That's fine. It's fine. We just work with the meteors. Okay, and now we amaze them, right? Yup. Let that in. Okay, we have a lot of this now. I'm taking this one so seriously because this is the one I've practiced for. And I reckon I can do it right. Look at that. We already have, like, such a good little network. I need to get the meteorite stone in. I can't place it on this, can I? I can. Cable cars. That's a great idea. Maybe I can get it. So... This runs true. Fixed! Cable car system. Okay, this this area seems quite city central, so this is good for like a plaza, a restroom, chess set, and like some gazebos. Just just to escape it. Let me go let me go on a gazebo spree here. Sorry, how much time was that? It was 30, but it is now 20. Seconds. That's not good. <laughs> okay, uh we have to just go all in with trees here. Hands off keyboards, please. There we go. We'll get your scores together and we will find out who is going There is a tree in the middle of the road. Don't question that bit. Oh, oh no, he brought back the fire the pit. The master comes out of every now and then to check up on what's happening on the outside. But uh, yeah, that actually reminds me a lot, at least with the way that is all overall kind of set up of the uh, Hojo over Katowice. Uh, they did a really good park. one. Oh Jesus, they all did really good! In terms of a recreation, because of course racing is a form of recreation as well. He it's made a race track. One. This one was the one that was struck by meteors. Origin. Yes it was! He started off by throwing down four of them, and then decided to work and design of the back of that one. The lake, as you see on the top of your screen, was of course uh, made by one of those meteors and the rest has been decorated nicely. A beautiful racetrack on the edge of- He went all in for the racetrack. A recreation, as best as possible, of the Red Bull ring in oh Austria. Oh my God. Details That's quite cool. Score is ready. Let's see who goes top. Oh, yeah. oh, Fifa at 33, Quill at 29. Oh, the so at 28, close. And finally, RT game at 27. It's so close and neck and neck, but we have our grand finalist. It's Biffa. Uh, <laughs> I am honestly amazed that, like, with the road round, I legitimately got first on that. So you technically got close as being first on that? Yeah, I actually, it actually was 100% traffic flow. Of the traffic flow challenge, everyone beat Biffa. Poor Biffa. Poor Biffa. That guy needs to rebrand. You know, he's <laughs> designated traffic flow guy. Not talking to you anymore. No. Goodbye. <laughs> That's it's been fair. a pleasure playing with you, Biffa. I'll never speak again. Oh, guys, this. it's been fantastic. Our final challenge is going to be played on the Natural Disasters DLC. It's going to be an interesting oh. one, I have to say. Oh. You know, I would have won! Save the city! Patrick. I would have won! <laughs> Quill might be the one to struggle here because, I mean, you know, you are the god when it comes to natural disasters, causing natural disasters. But, you know, naturally, when you can cause something well, you can probably also tidy up quite well to hide the evidence. That's the thing, I'm also used to like disaster repair and salvaging cities that have been devastated. Because like yeah. that's that's literally half of what I do. A good murderer knows uh, how to hide a dead body, that's all I'm it's saying. It's true, so, yes, so I, I have a lot of experience there. This. The best way to probably counter it would be to engulf the entire city in like a sponge and just okay. raise all of the land to max height. Yep. That way the meteors will strike the top of the land and it'll keep some of the stuff safe at the bottom. I 100% agree. I also think that is the way to beat this challenge. And I think they've given us the abilities to do it. Now, Biff is actually starting to think about this because he's got this brush out <laughs> to like raise he's the terrain. He's making a wall. Yeah, he's worked it out. 
He's no, come on, make it bigger, bigger. Yeah, there we there go. There you go, Biff. There we go. Don't oh, be shy look at now. That shaft. But yeah, look, he's drowned half the city. Oh my god, he has. Yeah, look because at that. The wire displacement. Yeah. Okay, he, had, I guess. Uh, he he made the barrier too close to the city. It's all onto the bunkers now. He's raising more land, but that's just going to displace oh, the water even gonna, more. Yeah, it's just going to push the water up over the top. Oh, he, he needs Biffa. to make it so there's like a ditch in the middle of the wall that actually acts as a drain for the water. Oh, and here comes the great big tornado. Oh, that is an unfortunate spot. Oh, this is this is good, though. This is good. <laughs> Punish him. Get to the new bunker. Five points awarded for each category. A surviving population, population happiness, active disaster areas, and the preparedness. I don't think either of them will focus on population happiness, because you don't really need to at this level of the game, I don't it, think. It seems like such a random thing to do, and like, and even judge in case of a disaster. It's like, quickly, put down a dog park. <laughs> like... <laughs> As the meteors rain on from... You might have lost your grandmother to a meteor, but it's okay. A new dog park has just opened it's like, up. Oh, hell nearby. yeah. Oh, an earthquake striking now. Oh, yeah. 10. 10. Uh, it took out a university campus. Oh, my God. That's a Honestly. real bad spot for it. Oh, think of the students. Uh, their accommodation can't get any worse, let's be honest. Oh, what's going on here, Quill? <laughs> oh, no, Quill. No, no, don't make oh, the same mistake. Oh, no, Quill. Don't what have you no. done? Oh, Quill. Quill, what's going on here? A meteor's about to hit the city. Category 10. Oh, ho, ho. <laughs> Alexa, play Country Roads. Oh, Jesus. Oh, it, it, I, did it hit High Park? Oh, High Park is just on fire. No, there it is. It's <laughs> right in the center. Oh, my God. That's a lot of dead population. That's a lot. Oh, that's minus 4,000. That might have evened it. Okay, Biff is at 77, oh! so Biff is still... Oh, my God! It hit God! the residential area. That's huge. Oh! Oh, no. Oh, that's a lot of dead people. And more dead people equals more affordable property prices. Oh, finally, it's about time. Oh, my God. Wait, Quill's losing a thousand a, a tick. He is. Oh, my God, he's losing so much what population. What just happened? Oh my god, I that's don't, plummeting. I don't think he's managing any of the, um, I don't think he's managing the problems and instead he's just building more pop. Quill! Quill, look behind you! Look behind you, Quill! There you go, you can see it, he can see it! Easy, there we go. isn't it? Easy. Yeah, I was like, oh no! <laughs> His city bounced back. Oh my god, is that 6k population growth? It is! He bounced so, it back! What the hell, Quill? He restored the power! He's, he's only behind by about 500 pop now. Oh my god, it's neck and neck! Wait, is that it? Are we done? That's it, that's it. GG. Is that it? I just love this music in the background just does not fit what we're yeah. looking at here. Like, yeah, look at these corpses. 20,000 people are dead. <laughs> 80,000 people used to live here. Like if this is what it takes to save the city. Is it worth it? Is it, is it worth living in a city like this? Like, do you still want to live here? It's like now that the sun's been blotted yeah. out. So <laughs> you get daylight for about two hours a day. Let's find out Spiff, the you won! The I won! Hey! Oh, oh Georgie! Georgie wins! Georgie wins! <laughs> oh, is that the trophy? That's the trophy, yeah. Ah, oh, that would have looked lovely in my office. <laughs> it's a shame I'll never get it. <laughs> 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 oh, the trophy! Yes, that would look wonderful on my display cabinet. Yeah. Oh, that's a terrible shame. That's that, that's a real nice looking trophy. Okay, you know what? I'll, <laughs> I'll go into town. I'll go to one of those trophy shops, and I will. I'll buy you one of those, a cheap little trophy that says <laughs> "Runner Up <laughs> in the City Skylines Metropolis Challenge." That's not, that's. I, I uh, very much appreciate that. Thank you, Smith.